98.1 Radio Free Santa Fe from Neil Young's third album after the gold rush. There is Southern Man on the radio for you. And with you, uh, with you right now, Ira Gordon joining you along with Todd Lovato, managing editor of SantaFe.com. And joining us by telephone is Frank Pancho San Pedro from the band Crazy Horse. And the U.S. tour with uh, the reunited Crazy Horse will kick off this Friday night in Albuquerque. Should be a great show down at the Hard Rock Pavilion with Los Lobos opening. A uh, welcome, Frank. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. You can just call me Poncho. Okay, we'll call you Poncho. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're doing great. We've been playing and having a lot of fun. And I can't wait to get into town. You guys have been together close to 40 years. How long is the rehearsal period before you start touring? Well, we've been, we've uh, we finished a, a record recently, Americana, and then right after that, we just started jamming and we actually completed another record which is coming out in october and then right from that we started rehearsing for this tour and i, I you know we just we've been playing now for about a year all together but not with any tour in mind all of a sudden the tour is here and we're ready to go and believe me it's not baby steps we're ready to take some giant steps and you will feel us there yeah it's getting together with old friends and uh, the audience oh. feels the same way welcoming you back you know, we, we've had such a good time recently. I think anybody who comes out to see us will never forget this show. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, I know I'm going to be there. I never miss Neil. Uh, what's touring with him like? Well, it's a lot. You know, Neil kind of stays to himself mostly, but we get together before each show, and we do vocal rehearsals and hang out and have dinner, and it, it's really kind of a lot of fun. But the music is what, you know, really makes the difference. Uh, let me ask you a little bit about Crazy Horse, too. Um, I, I know there were uh, some solo albums in the 70s from the band without Neil. Uh, is it still an entity, or, or do you guys really just get back together again to play with Neil? Well, it's it's an entity, but at the same time, I'm I'm the stick in the mud that doesn't want to do any other work without Neil. Ah. You know, and I just think that if we have something really special with Neil, and if we keep it that way, like now you're going to see us, and we want to... You know, we won't have diluted ourselves over the years with trying different projects and working. A lot of different artists want to record with us as well, but I just don't want to do that. And I think this is special. And when we get on stage, you know, we, we recorded a song after we did Americana. It was our first jam. I think it lasted 26 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. And I told you last night, I said, you know, if you just would have gone to a G chord, we probably could have played another half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you going to play any of this new stuff that's coming out in October uh, at the show? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's going to be a couple of pieces from there. And I'm, you know, I'm really excited about that record. You know, Americana was a great record, but we covered a lot of folk songs. And to be honest with you, I had a great time playing it, but it's hard to put your heart in the songs that you've been you know, hearing since you were on your mom's knee and your mom taught you. you know? Yeah, it sounds like you like playing the original uh, a little more. The no, I, you know, Neil wrote some great songs, emotional songs, and the band really got into it. And I'm so excited about the next album. It's crazy. Poncho, this is Todd Lovato from SantaFe.com. Uh, it's great to I be got... here with you. So I have a question. So when you perform because you've kind of established yourself very well over the decades with crazy horse and then you also come together with with neil young how do you adjust how you play do you have to make adjustments with because neil young has very distinct guitar playing style what do you what kind of adjustments do you make when you get on the stage and rehearse with him i don't i make none at all you know what it is with neil neil is you know he, he has a bright light burning inside of him if you just kind of close your eyes and stand around him you'll follow it. And that's all I can do. I, I mean, I never try to try to play anything, you know, or come up with a part or make something up. I just play. And like I was talking about that jam earlier, when I listened back to it, I was going, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had no idea that I played any of that stuff. And we just, you know, we just go on a journey. And it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. I'll tell you, I didn't, it's hard to have this much fun playing with anybody else. <laughs> well, your guitar style uh, specifically in, uh, has been, I mean, credited and Crazy Horse's sound to a, a lot of influencing a lot of different musical movements as kind of a cornerstone like um, grunge and noise rock. Do you, do you accept Isn't credit for funny? this? 
You know, we play the same, and it's funny, you know, first we were, they called us folk rockers, and, you know, grunge, and this and that, and those are all names that the media puts on you, but we just play rock and roll, that's the way we feel. How, how do you describe your, 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 your guitar playing? Oh, I, I'm pretty much a basher, you know? I turn everything up to 10 and just play as hard as I can, and then every once in a while I play with touch, but I don't think I do as well. <laughs> what is the hardest uh, Neil Young song for you to play? The one you guys just finished playing. Southern Man, really? <laughs> yeah. That's the toughest, huh? I, I didn't I didn't play on that one. You know, Danny that was a song Danny went and played on and of course I can't play like Danny and I don't think he would have been able to play like me. So that one's a little tough for me. Gotcha. Uh how about a favorite Neil Young song to play? What's your favorite? Oh, there's a lot of them. I like you know, I like Powderfinger a lot. I like Out of the Blue, Sedan Delivery, all of those. Okay. I imagine uh, this coming Friday night we're going to be hearing, uh, like uh, we were just discussing, uh, some of the new songs that will be coming out in October, a couple off Americana, and I'm sure a lot of the old classics, too. That's absolutely correct. And it's funny, as we were you know, trying to put this show together, the old classics kept getting bumped off the list. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, what about your, what about your, Nick? Uh, go ahead. There'll be some classics, but, you know, this is not an oldies tour. And like I said, we're taking giant steps right now. It, we're going we're gonna to shake the place out there. We, we've really been playing good. That is awesome. That's one thing I always love about uh, going to see Neil, is you're always going to hear stuff that, uh, you know, never might even see the light of day on on a release. Um, you know, I think back to some of the songs that uh, he was doing with the Blue Notes, and, uh, you know, then I, I hear him on bootlegs, but I've never seen legitimate releases to a lot, well, of, a lot of that. There's a double live bootleg album somewhere on Neil's shelf, and I can't wait for it to come out one day. But, you know, we had... We, we just keep playing, and, and it's funny, we had conversations about maybe we should just play everything off the new albums and not play any hits, you know, and, but we all love the old songs so much that just didn't happen. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, how about the archives releases? Uh, do you have any say about what Neil puts into that, or is that pretty much his own thing? That's pretty much his own but, own thing, but it, it's funny, at times we can, we can be talking about it and go, you know, I forgot about that song. <laughs> <laughs> how did you how did you get the nickname poncho well i uh i, I lived in uh ensenada mexico for a while and everybody there was calling me poncho and then in neil's organization when i came to work there there was like three or four franks and people were saying frank said this frank said that and i said just call me poncho every because it wasn't <laughs> me that was talking with the other franks and i said just call me poncho so we can have a little separation and that name stuck with me, and I, I really like it. I, in fact, most people I know don't even know my last name or Frank. Or my real name is Manuel. Nobody knows that. I wouldn't. You yelled Manuel in a crowd. I wouldn't turn around. Well, let me reintroduce. Manuel. <laughs> there you go. Well, let me reintroduce you to the KBAC listeners today. We're talking to Pancho San Pedro from Crazy Horse in concert with Neil Young this Friday night at the Albuquerque uh, Pavilion, the uh, Hard Rock Pavilion down there with Los Lobos, the opening act. Tickets still available, both lawn and reserved. Pancho, you've had a really rich, diverse career in music that goes outside performing with Crazy Horse uh, in terms of just being in the industry. Now, here in our, our listenership, we have a lot of aspiring musicians Um let me ask you, just kind of reflecting back on your career, what advice would you have for, you know, maybe an emerging artist to try to kind of really make a, a stab at, at a professional career like you have as a, as a musician and as a person in the industry? You mean like, like my son? <laughs> yeah, what do you tell your son? <laughs> Give I it tell up. him, you know, <laughs> keep your day job, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> but never stop playing, never stop practicing. You know, practicing is probably one of the most important things. You can't sit around and just, you know, hope something comes to you. You have to get up off the couch and go get it, you know, and, and that's all you can do. But I, I'll be honest with you, I have a hard time with that because I don't know about Albuquerque, but in L.A., where I spent a lot of time, there's no venues for young kids to play unless they want to pay to play, and it's so wrong. And, I, oh, man, it would be hard coming up in this era. And there's so many music schools to deal with, you know, these people graduating. Like, I think, 
can't remember how many thousands of guitar players graduated out of Berkeley in the last 10 years, but it's a lot. And there's just not enough jobs for everybody. But, you know, and if you don't make it, you know, enjoy music. That's what I say. Really just enjoy it. It's not all about making money. I have just as much fun sitting at home on a couch playing with a couple of friends as I do playing a big gig. That is absolutely awesome advice. Thank you. Poncho, congratulations on uh, what is uh, bound to be a very memorable Neil Young tour. It all kicks off in Albuquerque Friday night, and we are really looking forward to seeing you out there on stage okay. again. Okay. I'm really looking forward to being there. It's always fun in Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. You got, are, you, are you guys going to play Albuquerque off uh, the Time Fades Away album? No, I don't. That one <laughs> okay, just thought you know, I'd check. Had to ask. <laughs> the reason being, the reason being, we talked about it, but the reason being is Ben Keith passed away, and without that slide part, we're just not going to try and mm. attempt that. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay, well, thanks again for calling in today, uh, Poncho. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you Friday night. Okay, adios. Adios.